Hey guys, um, I want to tell you a story of a divine appointment I had about a couple of years ago. And uh, before I share you the story, um, I'm just going to read you Romans chapter 8 verse 28 in the Bible reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called are the called according to his purpose and um, especially remember the first part where it says that we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and you know many times as Christians um, things happen in our lives and we don't understand why and um, sometimes it's hard to remember this verse here in Romans. Um, before I tell you this story, I, I want to encourage you, you know, you know, to remember this verse in Romans and in Romans eight twenty eight, when something's going on in your life and you're not sure why it's happening to you, and um, you know, take up God on this Bible promise that, you know, that all things work together for good to them that love God. And uh, so, again, when you're, you have some obstacle in your life, um, you know, pr pray to God and, and, and share what you're feeling with with the Lord and, and, you know, tell Him that, God, I don't know what's going on, but... I believe this verse here in Romans uh, chapter 8, verse 28. And, you know, I believe it's true, but help thou my unbelief, you know. And help me be even more confident that whatever obstacle I'm going through, uh, you know, Lord, knowing that I love you, that this obstacle is or this problem, this issue, will, will turn out to be good for me in some way. Um, so, um, I used to own this property, uh, and, uh, it, was, it was 12 acres, and, you know, th this was a few years ago, and I put it up for sale, And, you know, when I put it up for sale, I, I was, I wanted to move back to Brazil and be a missionary. And, you know, my, my plans sort of changed for a while. Because one, it, you know, it did, I put it up for sale and it took like over a year and a half to sell. And it was really, really frustrating. I thought it was going to take maybe four or five months max, you know. <laughs> and you know, n not only in that interval period you know, a lot of interesting stuff happened. You know, I met, I met some great brothers and sisters in Christ in that 18th month, 18 month period. Um, I became an avid soul winner and I had other soul winners teach me many things. So that, that very much so is, you know, something that I perceived negative in my life, you know, waiting a year and a half to sell my place, I'm kind of feeling stuck in kind of like a a physical limbo. <laughs> um, but you know what? God wanted me in certain places so that I would win those people to Jesus Christ. And those were places in America, and I wouldn't have been there if my place sold faster. 
and um, and one thing that you know I I guess the the culmination culmination of this was when. You know, my my previous realtor just, you know, wasn't getting the job done. And I think I had him for 15, 16 months or so. And, uh, you know, went about, actually I went about him for like a year. And then I thought maybe I'll try selling it myself. And then I didn't have luck, you know, or not luck, but I, I didn't have a... <laughs> I, I couldn't, still couldn't get it sold even when I tried it by myself and then I got that same realtor back and then he kind of still wasn't getting the job done. He was kind of lagging and stuff, but kind of, honestly, being, being a little lazy about it. But, uh, you know, one day these people want to see my property and... Um, a, a realtor ask, you know, calls me up and asks if if he could, you know, what day would be good for for me to, you know, or, or for him to show the client the house, right, and, and the property, twelve acres and stuff. And I gave him a day, and uh, the realtor drove in from a, you know the bigger town. And he arrived earlier than his clients. And then, uh, you know, we start talking a little bit um, outside. And, you know, then he, he gets a call from his clients and they, they tell him they're going to be late a little longer, right? And they're stuck in traffic on the other side of the big town. And okay. <laughs> mm. And so I think, well, let me see if I can win this guy to Jesus Christ before the clients show up. And somehow I just start preaching him the gospel. He's just eating it up. Okay. <laughs> and, and so. I'm kind of in the the middle of, of preaching him the gospel, and he seems really genuinely interested in it. And it's a great time. And then his, um, somehow his 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 clients show up, and I'm a little disappointed because, yeah, I wanted to sell my place, but I wanted to win that guy to Christ first, you know, and but they pull up. And the guy looks at me, the realtor, and he says, you know, let's finish this up later, like after they leave. I'm like, like and, I, and I get all excited, you know. But anyways, the, the people end up seeing the house. They see the property. Um, they, they never made an offer, if I, if I recall correctly. They, they certainly weren't the buyers, the uh, band buyers, right? But I don't think they even made an offer. But anyways, they left that you know later that day, and it was starting to get dark. And uh, and I just asked the realtor, you know, after they were gone, it's like, hey, it's kind of getting dark. Um, can you just come inside real quick, and we'll we'll finish what we're talking about. And he comes inside, and I finish preaching him the gospel. I give a little review of what we talked about earlier. And I just preach him the gospel, and I, I answer his questions. I want to make sure he actually you know understands eternal security and that Jesus Christ paid it all. Um, and, you know, on my kitchen island there in the house, he just received Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. And, you know, after that, 
and he was still like a random stranger, basically, like the first day I met him, and he, he wanted to give me a hug in my house. <laughs> you know, we embraced, I gave him a big hug, he really thanked me, and I, and I told him, you know, that I've been trying to sell my house for the last 18 months, and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't sell, and I think it's because of this, and let me just tell you, it was worth it, it's totally worth it. I thank God for it, and, you know, I still thank God for it, and, uh, you know, I still keep in contact with him, um, that night when he left my house, I, I left, I left him a, I gave him a card before he left, and on that card, had a link to a, a gospel message online from, from somebody else. And he went home and he showed that to his wife. And later he told me that his, his wife trusted Christ. You know, that same night after he went home, his wife trusted Christ to be her Savior. And, you know, and then I decided, you know what, that's going to be my realtor. I want to keep in contact with him. And so I fired the other realtor again. <laughs> <laughs> got this guy to be my realtor and this guy was just on and the house sold him like you know less than a couple months I think it was it, and you know and the, the, guy, the realtor was just so on it and then not only that um, the next couple years you know he had he helped me with other deals and he's going to help me again sell the house I'm in now so I, I can actually go to Brazil finally to live again and um, but anyways you know to me that was a divine appointment something really frustrating as you know trying to sell your house and taking it taking like a year and a half and it all becomes worth it you know even if I won nobody else to Christ you know those 18 months and I actually did win a lot of people to Christ in those 18 months but I'm just saying hypothetically if I won nobody else to Christ just him it still would have been worth it you know what I mean and you know God knows the end from the beginning and we just have to have faith that God knows what's best for our lives and sometimes we can't understand something right now and why something's happening in our life but God knows the timing and uh, just pray that you know he opens our eyes to divine appointments God bless you have a good night bye